Okay, Arnett, I'm going to look through this October 2009 issue of Otaku USA I bought while I was looking at other stuff in bookshops. So, first off, there's a Right Stuff Shoujo Otaku ad. I think they've been doing this campaign for about a year. Could be mistaken, maybe nine months or so. But yeah, so they're still continuing this. Fulma Alchemist Premium OVA Collection. This came out. I think last month, so that's why it says available now. I have the chibi characters of the characters of uh, table of contents, you know, features, virtual DVD stuff, other stuff, a whole bunch of reviews. Uh, editorial Patrick writes about the convention season and the feature length things in the issue. Bleach second movie comes out on DVD next month. Viz reminds people that there are digital downloads also available of Bleach, uh, but they don't say where. I guess it's assumed that iTunes, uh, Xbox Marketplace, and PSN are where you get, go for those. Contributors top five, like in every other issue, just kind of give you a sense of what the staff is uh, keen about in that uh, bi-monthly period. Gunslinger Girl, um, this issue came out, I think, earlier this month, so this is already out. Lars, uh, mostly Haruhi and the continuing Moya topic, although there was uh, one letter uh, regarding an amazement in Raleigh. And uh, Hobby Link Japan, they've had this same size ad in uh, a couple of issues I've seen. Otaku Encyclopedia, you can actually get this now off Amazon. It's in stock. You can probably get it in a week or two through shipping. You have to wait until the October 1st release date. Uh, Robert's Amy Corner Store, over the years they've had different variations. Um, of drawings. I remember they had some in, I think, Anime Insider maybe, uh, in America, and New Type USA, and I've been kind of a fan of the designs. I don't really shop at the store that often, but sometimes I do. Uh, this Rough Guide to Anime, I was coincidentally looking at library listings and came across this, and you know, so I might check it out through the library. And there's a write-up, so I'll make a decision based on that. Yurka 7, the Fathom events, one night only thing. Uh, some Terran 24, so I think tickets are twelve fifty. I'm not sure. May or may not go. Uh, movie theater in Natomas, I know, has regularly been a Fathom events location, so that option is available to me. We have anime. DVD reviews, Gungrave, Gitchikin, subscription card, Twelve Kingdoms, uh, uh, When They Cry, and a Umineko online exclusive that's actually pretty informative. Origins of the Past on Blu ray, and a two page, uh, well, Two page, half page for Big Windup. It's been getting fairly positive reviews from online and it's available now. And they have episodes on their website you can watch. Uh, their new anime from Japan segment. So Kaon, which says 11 episodes. I think it's 13 or 12. I don't know. Uh, but Quash, I still have to start watching that because it's about basketball. And it looks pretty stylish. Uh, Gwyn Saga, Aniplex, showed trailers of that. Uh, Eden in the East, and Ristorante Paradiso, which I believe is still shown on Crunchyroll. Manga reviews. Uh, I have a big critique of the uh, manga section because in previous issues, I have there's a gray box that says Jason Thompson or Jason Thompson and someone else. 
and in this issue there isn't. So the reviews that are blank are assumably Jason Thompson's, but you'd have to look at the, where is it? You have to look at the staff listing to know that if you didn't already know that. So it's kind of a, a ticky tack thing to complain about, but still complain about it regardless. But anyway, so there's manga reviews, uh, L DVD in stores now, um, L report and crossword puzzle are among the extras, kids manga, uh, there was a postcard in here, um, advertising, uh, cousin of Sigma, there's actually another ad to four pages later or two pages later. Responsible Captain Tyler ad. More manga, Yaoi reviews, J List Theater, which also runs in uh, a couple times in Sci Fi Magazine. Uh, Full Mail Panic with their features in here they've been doing uh, for this issue the uh, franchise, uh, other media, so manga here. Uh, let's see, manga sample. Here's the centerfolds. There's from Brotherhood and Broken Blade. First one that came out in July from CMX. Here's that postcard I was talking about. Let's see, free stuff contest. Uh, Ava feature. Here's Ava manga section. Uh, Ava 2.0. Ava promotions in Japan. Symbolism by Gals Poitras. Uh, Shampoo section review or feature, whatever. Uh, Karakano manga. Um, Hideki Ono's live films. Slayers again, other media section. Nana, a um, bit of a Karate Kid reference. Punch Art Review, Narcissus Prescription Card, Klonoa Review, Kanji iPhone Apps could be worth looking at for Japanese studiers. Boogie Pop Phantom coming out uh, from Nozomi. Japanese Film Reviews, I'll be reading these definitely because I want to get more into uh, Japanese film and watching it. More film in general. Um, Tokyo Escape. Ghost Hunters ad. That's Saifi. Cosplay Cafe. Se uh, segment that's usually in each issue. Giveaway rolls. Uh, toy section. Uh, cons. Upcoming cons advertised. Including BizuCon, which is happening this weekend in Miami. So, alert for people in Florida. Uh, Zach Benz's interview with Canon Wakashima, uh, Vamp's review, uh, a bonus Canon review online, uh, cooking and cosplay, part one of, I guess, two part interview with this guy, uh, web otaku extras, and then Aeon, a game by NC Soft, which in the giveaway, I think they're giving away three copies. So that's a fairly quick look through the issue. And now I gotta get to um, reading it in closer detail in the steps, giving it. So see you guys later.